Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, if you're new here, be sure to check out the card on the right-hand side of the screen. Take you back to the first episode we just did uh, a few days ago. If you're not new here, then you know we're off and, off and running. We got ourselves a team forming. So far, just four members, but pretty happy with all of them so far. First up, we have Hive Queen, level 7, our Vespa Quen, who's got solar power for her randomized ability. Boosts special attack in Sunshine, but lowers her HP. So we're going to be interesting to see how that turns out. Gino, our Eevee with Pressure. Gloria, our Hippowdon with Hydration of all things. And of course, Calypso, our Milotic, our starter, with Water Absorb. All in all, pretty solid team. Kind of happy with, with, with our diversity so far. We're running a little low on potions, because like I said, I was going to do some training off screen. So we're a little low on potions, because I had to, I had to heal, uh, heal some things here and there. Nothing too, too interesting happened, but overall, you know, we, we got our levels, and we we, we uh, ready to move on. So we're going to go up Route 202. There are some trainers to fight up here, as I recall. So we'll go up to them, get them fought, head up to, head up to Jubilife City, and try to catch up with um, Waldo, to give him the parcel from his mother. A horsey. Well, that's cool. But I'm kind of glad we didn't catch that here, because we, we of course, our starter was a, 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 a hail. Okay, I'm extra glad we didn't catch that then, because it's, it's going to hurt, hurt it and, and us. We have learned Confuse Ray, by the way, which is a nice thing for Hive Queen to have. Which reminds me, uh, Mr. Neckpunch has also uh, s um, given the suggestion that for an alternate name for Hive Queen, Unity, like from Rick and Morty, which I actually quite like. So... We may be re renaming our Hive Queen to to, uh, um, to Unity sometime in the near future, once I track down the uh, name guy. But we shall see. For now, an easy, an easy takedown on the horsey, and we're moving on along. Moving right along. Okay, our first trainer battle. What you got, kid? You're a Pokemon trainer, and so am I. Our eyes met, so battle we must. I'm just like, kid, I was walking by, and you, like, saw the side of my head. I don't know what you're talking about, eyes. I, I, I do not have eyes in the side of my head. But you say so. Rich boy, I'm Toinette. It is Golduck. Not half bad. But I'm pretty pretty confident that uh, Hive Queen can handle this. Go ahead and deliver... Ooh, water sport till we can fire. That's great if you had any fire moves on my side, but I don't, so, uh... You know. You have a, have a confuse ray, though, because you're confusing me, so I'll just confuse you right back. That's how it works. We just share the confusion. Share and share alike. Alright, you're confused. Hit yourself. Thank you. A little bit of wind, a little bit of gust. You'll go down. Yes, please, you must. I didn't do that much damage at all, but it's okay. Yep, had a confusion already. That's a little faster than I would have liked, but it's all good. Shouldn't be a problem overall. Yeah, one more should be fine. Water gun, which doesn't even take advantage of his le uh, tail up he just did. All right, well, I'm not going to pretend to understand their battle plan, but uh, it's over now, so moving on. <laughs> Hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday, by the way. Hope you're looking forward to our Subnautica stream, which should be starting around noon, so in about two hours from when this went up. Double levels! Wow! Fighting of all stuff is great! Fury Cutter! Also pretty pretty, de uh, pretty decent. It's a bug-type physical move. And when, well, actually, Sweet Scent goes pretty well with Fury Cutter. Because it makes it more lucky to hit. Well, no, it lowers their evasion, which I guess is the same thing. I don't know. Um... I mean, we're gonna replace Fury Cutter with something special anyway at some point, so I guess I'll just drop, I'll just drop, uh, drop a sweet scent for now, because I'd rather keep Poison Sting for the chance to poison stuff. It's all good. But yeah, we're gonna be playing Subnautica later on. Looking forward to that because I love that game. It, it scares the pants off me, but it's fun. Too strong. Oh, too strong. Or were you simply too weak? All right, let's rotate our team around. Let's put Gino up front. Got to get that experience spread around to everybody who needs it. Hello, miss. I spy with my little eye a trainer. A battle, please. At least she asked nicely. Sort of. We didn't, didn't really give us a choice in the matter. Does that count? I don't know. Lazy Jill. Okay, that's kind of cool. Scizor. Oh, Lazy Jill, get a scissor. Darn you, Lazy Jill. 
Alright, well, there's no way Geno's fighting this thing. Um, Calypso is probably the best choice, really. Doesn't resist water, so we'll go with that. Ow. Sorry, I just banged my toe on something. <laughs> oh, just fine, fine skill on my part. Let's uh, splash some water on him and see how that goes. Will she rust? Eh, not too bad, actually, yeah. It'll be a, be a, a three-shot win, so we'll have to keep an eye on how much damage they do back. If it's got Technician, like it normally does, it can do some pretty serious damage with, damage with uh, lower-powered moves than you'd expect. But if it doesn't have that, then uh, it should be fine, really. Bullet Punch is a great move, but Steel, so we resist it quite handily. Technician Scissor with, 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 with Bullet Punch really is a thing of beauty, though, seriously. Does so much damage for a, for a, a, uh, for a priority move. Alright, 106 for us, 106 for Gino. Easy peasy. Oh, boo, I can't win. Well, I mean, no offense, but I'm kind of glad, because if you could win against me, that means I'd lose in Pokemon. And my run, which would be bad, really. Alright, you're up next, dude. Let's have Pokemon battle. Huh, but I'm gonna win. Okay, he seems pretty sure of himself. Another rich boy, are we? Rich boy Zoe. We're the Grovile. Cool. One of the Hoenn starters. Our, our, our uh, lovely Naveen. We, oh, not lovely, sorry. Our, our, our rather awesome Naveen we had for quite a while back in the uh, Emerald Run. Absorb won't do too much. It's a pretty weak move overall. Got a few tail whips on him. We shouldn't have any problem with that. Might throw one sand attack in his face just to keep him from hitting us too, too much. Because, I mean, he's not exactly a powerhouse, but it adds up. Because uh, Eevee's not really a powerhouse either, really. So, a little bit of sand. There we go. Two tail whips ought to do it. Because we do get stab on our tackles, so... Two defense lowers should be sufficient. Then he gets a crit. Please don't do that again. Wow. Oh, I, would, I didn't think it would do that much damage. Okay. Um, I, guess it, I, sh I should really have thought of that, considering it's, you know, we're level 8 to his level 5. So I guess really it makes sense. But I was all like, oh, he's evolved, right? You know? And just, no, no, mm -mm. He hasn't had the chance to really take advantage of his uh, of his uh, evolution yet. He hasn't evolved. It hasn't uh, leveled at all yet. All right. If he... Does that, we're fine. Quick tackle, finish him off, and we will be good to go. Alright, Gino. Let's see. You get a little out of this, maybe? Yep. Level 9. Doo -doo -doo. Nice. Okay. You, you beat me. Oh, you've got talent. Oh, I don't have any talent, I guess. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, oh no. Uh, Calypso up front, I guess. we will let our starter have the spotlight sometimes, too. Oh, again, we got an encounter. What could, what, what else could we have gotten here besides what we did? Apparently just Horsey. Personally, I'm fine with the, with, with, uh, Hive Queen. If our options are a Horsey or, or, or a Vespiquen, I'll take the Vespiquen, thanks. Oh, excuse me. My, my apologies. Just gonna run. You a trainer, kid? No. Some, one, some Pokemon only appear in the morning. Some will come out at night. I'll keep looking until I've seen them all. Well, good, sounds like a good plan to me. Here we have a Persim Berry, which I don't remember what that does. Out of curiosity, it is... Confusion! Hey! That's pretty handy, actually. Another encounter. Uh, another horsey. Okay. I don't... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what this Pokemon is normally, but apparently it appears uh, uh, quite a lot at night. If it was silver, I'd say it was a Hoodoot, but uh, we're in we're in platinum, of course, so uh, I don't know. And Jubilife City. Oh, hello, Don. Oh, hi, Scarf. You catching Pokemon? Wow, you've already got four Pokemon with you at that pace. Pokemon should be, should be full in no time at all. Oh, I know. Don't you think it's better to know more about Pokemon? Sure it is. I know just the place. Come on, don't be shy. Follow me. Going for the tour. All right, that's fine. There's uh, some, some dudes trading, and an older fella, and some guy behind a lamppost. That, that, that man. What is he doing? Oh, he's like dashing across the street and then hiding behind lampposts. Um. What? 
How did you know? Did you unmask me as a member of the international police? Ha? Huh? What? I, I beg your pardon? I was just making conversation. Huh. You claim you were only making conversation, do you? Which I know better not to believe that. No, 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 no. You recognized right away that I was someone extraordinary. So you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome. Quite admirable, you are. Now my cover has been blown. Let me introduce myself. I am a globe judging elite of the international police. My name... Ah, no, I shall inform you only of my code name. My code name, it is Looker. This is what they call me. Incidentally, there's a saying, don't be a thief, familiar to you. It's pretty common knowledge. Yes, it is correct. Taking what, others, uh, t -t 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 what belongs to others is wrong. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed those words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokemon of others. I have, therefore, been on the lookout for echoes arousing my suspicion. Incidentally, you are trainers, yes? Perhaps you can make use of this. The versus recorder. Which has what to do with what you are just talking about? That versus recorder is a nifty device for recording a match. I obtained it because it is quite popular these days. But myself, I do not Pokemon battle very often. To be in better hands with you. Also, I have a request. You to see me again, I ask that you not talk to me, for I am on duty. Actually, yes, yes, you may speak to me. You must. Not because I am lonely. No, no, you must inform me of bad guys. You must inform me of any happenings. Also, I'm hiding behind this lamppost. Goodbye. Working through the international police must be hard, I guess. Clearly, he's snapped under the pressure. Um, yes, anyway. S -s Scarf, here it is. This is, the, this is the trainer school. The name says it all. I, I saw your friend Waldo go in earlier. You can still be in there studying. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go, like, get some brain soap and cleanse my mind this whole afternoon. Bye now. Yeah, look her guys, uh, a thing. Okay. Uh, we're gonna stop off the center and heal real quick, because why not? Pop in here, get our heal on, and we'll go over to the, to the trainer school and see if Waldo's still still uh, kicking around. So, so we're gonna have our first official battle. Well, we, I fought him once after choosing our starter, but like, it was a, 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 a Milotic versus a Charizard, so you guys know the obvious outcome of that one. So, I'm looking forward to seeing if he's got any new team members and what that'll entail for us. Right, where'd that kid go? Waldo! Where's Waldo? There he is. <gasps> Pokeball. Super Repel. I mean, it's handy in its own way, but... Oh, oh, hey, Scarf! You come you, you, you to study, too? I went ahead and memorized everything on, uh, up on this blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to have, avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Scarf, what brings you, huh? You have something for me? Deliver the parcel. Mission successful. Score, it's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Scarf, you take one. His mom is probably like, this kid is gonna like leave it behind somewhere. He just runs off everywhere so fast. Better give him two. <laughs> hmm. According to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I, sh I, sh I should be going next. The gyms would be perfect for the raising Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the, the greatest trainer of all time. See you around! <laughs> off he goes again. Oi. Dude. And what are you guys doing over here? Well, we learned about Pokemon types today. Um, grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, and water is weak to grass. That's true. Yes. There's a little more to it with other types and stuff, but out of those three, yes, that works. I think we're in good shape to fight these two. I'm pretty sure they're trainers, if I'm remembering correctly. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but may we battle? Absolutely. I need to try the things I learned before I forget them. In a Nuzlocke world, that's kind of a risky proposition, but for you guys, I guess not. Weightlifter Lawrence? I'm sorry, you're a little bit small to be a weightlifter. Guess she's just starting out. <laughs> Manaphy, who I believe is also a water type. Let me just test that there real quick. Yeah. Although, I mean, that was, okay, that was a crit. I was, I was gonna say it did pretty solid damage. Tail Glow! I know that move well. And Nidhogg had that in, in our last run, our Dragonite. Packing all kinds of special attack power. No, 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 go ahead and switch out to Hive Queen. She's the only one here who... Well, besides Geno. But she's she's tougher than Geno, defensively. I, I feel more confident in her abilities to handle this. So, so I know Manaphy is a legendary or mythical, or one or the other. I don't know if it stacks up quite to the same strength as a regular one, but we're going to find out. Bubble. Eh, we're alright. 
Granted, we're pretty early on in the game, and at this point, like, no one's leveled up enough to really get going, uh, power creep-wise. So, like, it, below level 10, a Legendary isn't that much better than a regular Pokemon, you know what I mean? Like, they, they are, but not, like, leaps and bounds better, whereas level 20, they've had some time to get some stats under their belt. Alright. Another Fury Cutter ought to do it. Oh, potions! Oh, oh, fair deal, okay. Well, Fury Cutter stacks up, uh, gets stronger each time we use it, to a certain point anyway. So, a few more wind-ups, we should have the next Pokemon in the bag as well. Lovely. Bit of, a little bit of overkill for, 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 for this last hit, but, you know, it's okay, it happens. Speed down is a problem, though, depending on what comes out next. Oh, Aftermath! Oh, that, that could have been very bad. We were very close to losing a Pokemon there. That's alarming. Better switch after all. Level 10 is nice, though. Note to self, man, if he has Aftermath, gotta try, gotta, gotta try and remember that one. Okay. I like this on you a lot. Oh, I thought I could win. You almost got me with a Pyrrhic victory. I, I wonder if, if we could have done better against you. Like if I used potions right when we needed to. You did. Also, gonna go heal now, because you almost blew up my Pokemon with your self-destruct Pokemon. Well, it didn't self-destruct, but... That, that, the, the, the sore loser ability, you know what I mean? Just, you, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and blow up on you when you kill me. In fairness, I mean, in, 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 in a Nuzlocke, that's the perfect ability. So, congrats, kiddo. You almost scared the pants off me there. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? With a little less exploding. Alright, back to full health. Clipso's in good shape. Once the next guy's got an another mana fee, we should be fine. Although, even if he does, we, we know what to expect now, at least. Alright, dude. Doing is the best way to learn. Can I get a battle with you? Go, my Pokemon, go! I play it. Alright. Weightlifter Noel. That's apparently all, all students are weightlifters. That kid does not look like a weightlifter either, but, you know, I, again, I guess they're just starting out. Gotta lift those small weights so we can get to the big ones. Alright, now, since you are a grass type, Hive Queen is the way to go again. She's gonna get a little bit overleveled for this. A little bit too overleveled, perhaps, because, uh, as mentioned, uh, the way that, that we've been playing is... X attack. Uh, we, we're not allowed to use Pokemon that are too over uh, too overleveled compared to the gym leader, so I can't let her get too, too strong. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to make an effort to let the other Pokemon um, handle things for a while, because otherwise, we will be too strong for the first gym leader. Level 9 for Calypso. Refresh. Which I think is just about the status effects. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> we will see. I will say it's also very nice how quickly Hive Queen, how, uh, how quickly she levels. Because as a bug type, she has very low XP requirements, apparently. Well, you're really good. We've been studying every day, but we're no match for you at all. You'll be able to use this potion properly. Here you go. Free potions! I like this kid. I like his moxie. Alright. Just how to use items, yada yada yada. Okay, good. And you? Same thing as before? Okay. Anybody else in here have, have anything else for us at all? Um, no. Okay, I think we're good here then. Okay, so we're done in Jub. Ooh, hang on. That, that guy wasn't there before. That's different. If it's different, it means get a, a new Pokemon for it, I guess. Laura is up front. Come here, Mr. Suit. Oh, oh, oh. You, you call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Poketch. That is a Pokemon Watcher Poketch for sure. Oh my, you're, you're a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture the Poketch. Not only that, I'm conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. Why clowns, you ask? I don't know. If you can find them, I'll give you the Poketch. Oh, okay. Thank you, randomly Scottish man. Clown. Oh, ha, ha, I am a Pokéch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokémon grow by defeating others and gaining XP points? Yes. Ding, ding, you're absolutely correct. Pokémon grow stronger by defeating other Pokémon in battle. Some Pokémon even grow into an entirely different form in a process known as evolution. Here you go, your Pokéch coupon. Right, okay, never making that voice again. Unless you guys really, really like it, I guess, because I don't know where that came from. Just roll with it. Alright, um, another one up there. Other clown, aha! Hi, 
I'm a Punk Edge campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Like the other, just like Pokemon types, the moves Pokemon also have types. Yes. Dang, dang. You're absolutely correct. Pokemon type matches its moves type. That move is made much more powerful. Here you go, your Poke Edge coupon. Go have fun with it, I, I guess. Thank you, Dire Clown. And you, the last one. Ooh, hello, I'm a Poke Edge campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Can I hold an item? Yeah. Ding, ding, you're absolutely correct. Pokemon may hold a single item. Some items come effective as soon as they're held by a Pokemon. Berries treat my Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go, your Poketch coupon. Thank you. Cool, let's go back to uh, Mr. Scotsman. Mr. Scotsman, give me a Poketch. All right, let me count your, let me count your coupons. I use the Poketch here. One, two, three. Bravo, I say, bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with this, the Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Scrap Pseudo Poketch! Yay! You can add apps to your Poketch to make it even more versatile. Touch the screen and find the apps are right free. Goodbye, Scottish man! Okay, so let's play with this thing a little bit. Oh, oh. Let's get the watch. We got the, 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 the team thingy. The, the, the step counter. Calculator. I guess the clock is fine. Uh, I don't know. For, for, for right now, it is anyway. Actually, no, let's, 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 let's put it on, 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 on the uh, team tracker. For, for health reasons, I guess. Sure, that'll work. All right, so uh, we've fought some trainers now. We have enough money to actually buy some more potions, which is probably pretty important. We should do that. Not many more, only one more, but you know what? Two is better than one. In this instance, I'm happy with that. So, excuse me a moment. <clears throat> Apologies. Um, actually, how many Pokeballs do we have left at this point? Oop, wrong, wrong, wrong button. Um, Pokeballs, Pokeballs, Pokeballs. We have 7 1 Premier Ball. Not too bad. So I believe there's grass up this way, too, isn't there? Yes, Route 204. You can get the grass this way, too. That was sneaky of us. Just tip through this grass right here, real quick. A blue shard. That's not that exciting, but. We can also probably get to grass on the other side of this place, on, on the left, and, 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 and perhaps on, on the right as well. Oh, but hang on. Oh, yes! Oh, I'm happy now. Never mind. All things are forgiven. I was wanting about getting the Milotic, but it's all good now. I have no qualms. I, granted, I have to evolve it myself this time, but if it still has filter, I am down with that. Come here, my friend. I wish to add you to my team. Oh, I'm really happy right now. You have no idea. This is fantastic. You know that sometimes, sometimes we get like, you know, all, all three starters on our team. Like I think uh, happened to me last time. I think, and, and I'm pretty sure it happened to uh, Arvidal as well. Um, where we end up getting all the Pokemon from our original choices. But like this fast? Episode 2? I've got- I, I, I have a Vespaquen, which is of course the evolved form of the Combi we could have started with. We got our Milotic that we actually started the game with. And now, we're getting a Charmander! Hopefully. <sighs> Sorry, I need a drink there. Okay, so, he's sleeping. Give him a little bit of a love tap. I'm, 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 I'm afraid to hit him too hard, but Gloria's not that physically powerful. You know what, though? Hive Queen has Fury Cutter, which is a bug move which he resists, which should be the safest thing we could possibly hit him with. Also Poison Sting, in all fairness. There's quite the level advantage going on here, so we're going to play a little bit carefully. Let's use a Poison Sting for now. It's asleep, so we can't poison it. That's just fine. Oh, of course, not, now you would wake up. Growl is fine, though. Lowers our damage. Switching to Fury Cutter. It won't do very much at all, but that's fine. That's kind of the point. You keep growling, friend. Should have watched that damage increase is all. It's a little bit unpredictable. I'm going to reset the damage on Fury Cutter. Switch back to Gloria, put him back to sleep again. I'm taking no chances with this. If, if there is anything I can possibly do to ensure this Charmander gets in our possession, I'm going to do it. Because I want it. I want it a lot. Ah! 
I, I, I've never yawned like that. I'm more of a <sighs> kind of guy. It's why I make a, 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 a good slowpoke impression, you know? Slowpoke. Slowpoke. That is a slowpoke confirm, perhaps? Mm. All right, anyway. Back to business here, people. All right, so it's gonna go to sleep, and I'm gonna attempt a Pokeball and see where we're at with that. I don't wanna hit it anymore if I don't have to. It's getting a little bit close to getting down there, you know? Making me a little bit nervous. We'll try Pokeball at Yellow Health and see how we do. But as well as I was afraid we'd do. Okay. Barring a crit, a Poison Sting should not kill it. Even then it might not. So, with a little bit of a cross fingers here, please, pretty please, do not. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. Please. Pretty please. I will ask for nothing else this whole episode, I swear. <laughs> Maybe, until something else cool happens anyway. And a three. And I'm a happy, happy monster. Yes! Okay! The overhated fire lizard has arrived! Charmander, the lizard Pokemon, the final tip of its tail is a measure of its life. If unhealthy, the tail burns in... Sorry, if healthy, sorry. If healthy, not unhealthy, its tail burns intensely. All right, what to call you? I mean, the overhated fire lizard definitely seems seems to, to, to cover it. We call you overhate. Oh, overhate. I, 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 I kind of dig that, actually. It's, it, it's, it's goofy, but I don't mind goofy. <laughs> overhate. It's like overheat, but with more anger. All right, now let's see what we got nature and ability-wise. If I'm very, very lucky, it'll still have filter. It's possible that these Pokemon have more than one ability, you know, uh, you know, available to them. So, hardy, neutral, filter. Yes, yes, yes. Aha! Oh, I'm so happy right now. Okay, overhate is the best present this game could have given me today. I'm gonna go heal right now. That is a glorious, glorious thing. We have the Filter Charmander. Hopefully soon to be the Filter Charizard. A fire type on our team that is not crap because that's the one big concern I had besides just letting a Pokemon with Filter slip through my fingers was just, it's hard to find decent fire types. You know what I mean? So finding a Charmander, I, I am A-OK -okay with this. Now an Arcanine would have been better. There are Pokemon that would have been better like Chimchar, Arcanine, etc. But I will take a Charmander quite happily, thank you. One moment, one moment to uh, blow my nose, please. Ugh, my sinuses and I do not get along. Okay, much better. <clears throat> now, I will worry about training over hate probably in a little while. I don't want to risk him getting too banged around right this moment. So he'll probably stay at the back of the team. Well, no, you know what? Let's do some, let's, let's do some switch training, I guess. If I bump into something that has shadow tag and he dies immediately, then I guess that's just how it's going to be. I'm not going to run away from, from, from the, the nature of the Nuzlocke. Although, in all fairness, I almost forgot... We do have, we do have six Pokeballs left and more catching to do. I almost forgot about the route off to the left here. Not quite done this just yet, are we? Tally ho! Oh, hello there. You look like a fishing guy. Yes, sir! An old rod is a good thing! Think so too, am I right? Actually, yeah. Yeah, good answer! We can be friends! Here you go, here's my old rod! Cool. Now, I don't know if that's going to help us too much, but it will let us fish in places where there are wa where there's water, and uh, normally nothing else, you know. You really need to battle it because you need to twice the fun. Yada yada yada. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. Route two eighteen, where there appears to be lots of water, not much else. Oh, and an item. Splash plate. Ar Arceus, is that you? Where are you? That's pretty good, though. When you was created, the shards became this plate. Cool. Well, I believe that increases the, the damage of water moves, which goes pretty pretty swimmingly with our uh, Milotic. There you go, Calypso. Have yourself a splash plate. Little shard of, uh, of, of, of the divine right there. Guess we'll throw out our fishing rod and we'll see what we can catch. Normally, probably only a, um, only a Magikarp, but here, now, could be anything. Which reminds me, where are we going after this anyway? Kanalave is that way. Floroma is north, so Orberg is to the east. Okay. I know where I'm going now, at least. Wait for my fishing rod. Not even a nibble, you say? 
Come on. Don't be like that. Here's the game. Come on now. Ooh. Gotta wait. But no, what, what do you mean you gotta wait? I pushed the button. There we go. Sorry, I was pushing the wrong button. I pushed Y, not A. And it is a far fetched. Really? Interesting. Okay. Another odd Pokemon for our team. Now, we already have a flying type and a normal type at the moment with, with Eevee, so I'm not exactly over the moon about this. But it's at least something interesting. Sand attack. <sighs> there goes the yawn. We shall try a bite. I mean, a, a, a little riskier here, because again, I'm not, I'm not that bothered if this one doesn't make it. No, it did fine, actually. Let's do some more choo-choo-chewing on him. Have our onion-wielding duck. Alright. Pokeball is gonna go. And a one. And a two. And a three. And it wasn't so far-fetched after all. I'm gonna call you Leak Warrior, I think, if it'll fit. Farfetch, the wild duck Pokemon. It can't live without the stock it holds. That's why it defends the stock from attackers with its life. Seriously? It's gonna die without it? That's pretty dramatic. Right, I'm gonna call you Leak Warrior. If it'll fit. Leak. W A R R I. No, it, it's, it's, it's not going to. Um. In that case, you're a warrior who, 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 who's associated with onions, so I'm gonna call you... What was his name? Oh, shoot. Is it Siegfried? I think it was Siegfried from Dark Souls, one of the Onion Knights. So there's Siegfried or something something like Siegfried. Uh, I, hope, I hope it's Siegfried. My memory may be failing on that one. From from, 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 from Dark Souls 3, there's a guy named Siegfried. I'm pretty sure there's an, an, an Onion Knight in every Dark Souls game. I think, I'm think i pretty sure Siegfried is the one in Dark Souls 3. It, it's Sig something. Eh, we'll see anyway. Siegfried! Who is holding an item? The Wave Incense. What all this water type stuff going on today? That's fine, I guess, but... Also increases the power of water type moves. Well, there you go, I guess. What does Farfetch'd have, I wonder? Adamant Nature, which is really good for him, actually. Serene Grace, which is likely to have added effects appearing. Huh. That's not that useful for him, but it's not terrible. Doesn't have Peck anymore, which is kind of a drag. I guess we'll bring him along for extra muscle, I guess? I don't really need him, but you know what? Why not? I'm not quite so, uh, so, uh, full of myself to think that I can get by without just taking things with me, so... See how we do. So we'll stop off and heal real quick. We have some trainers to clear out up north. Probably want to at least stop up that way and see what else we can find. Because you never know, you know, people have all kinds of cool stuff. Which reminds me, because, um, Waldo has his Charizard that he started with, so... We can now match him Zard for Zard if we want to. Probably not a good idea, but we could. My uh, poor little Charmander might be a little bit not quite up to that fight just yet. <laughs> Although being a Charizard with a Charmander would, would have a certain degree of uh, satisfaction to it, in all fairness. <laughs> okay. Heading up north. Dude, hey. Alright, so I know this isn't the way we're supposed to be going just yet, but I do want to fight some trainers just to see how we do. Route 204, got two trainers to fight. Gloria's up front. Let's go ahead and put Overhate up front. Let him uh, soak up some of that lovely, lovely XP. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Do you want to have a go, mate? Lazy Noel with her. I've miscalculated. I regret everything. Run. <laughs> Um, I'm suddenly very not okay with everything I've ever done. A uh, Hive Queen's the way to go here, by the way. She's got the defense. She's got the Confuse Ray. We're going there. Yeah. Abruptly Salamence. That's alarming. Um, have a, ha, ha, have a Confuse Ray. Please don't bite me too hard. Uh, I didn't like that at all. Please don't do that again. Oh, this is bad. Okay. 
Being able to get me down in two bites, not encouraging. Confused is happening. I could heal and try for Poison Sting, but I'm not loving our odds of that. Gloria, how are, how, how are your defenses these days? Pretty high, I imagine. 26, even higher than Hive Queens. You're the way to go, then. You've got Bite, you've got Yawn. You're the one, yeah. You're the one. <laughs> Rubber Ducky, you're the one. Now you, horrible monster, please hit yourself. Thank you. For your understand- oh wow. Your attack stat is scary, I don't like it at all. Um, go to sleep. Already out of confusion, you, you handled that way too well. I don't know what your ability is, but it's not insomnia, which makes me happy. Okay, I'm gonna throw some sand in your face as well. Rage. Won't do too much at least. Salamence is a doozy of a Pokemon though. Real, real good Pokemon. Which I got that, that bag on back on Route 201. But you know what? Eevee is fine too. Let's just go ahead and bite it to death. It's asleep. It's got some fan in its face. With a little bit of luck, we'll just be able to chew on it before it dies, uh, before it wakes up. Oh right, the rage is still happening. Oh great. You're asleep. I, <laughs> I can even be angry in your sleep. Alright, you know what? Here, just have, have have ultimate sand. Deal with it. Deal with it. You horrifying thing. Oh no. Oh, that's way too scary move to have lying around. Don't you dare do that again. Uh, we're healing. You know, I, I don't know if that's actually, if, if that would even matter. Headbutt. Okay, because we've, we've been leered at. Our defense is down. Headbutt is just an atrociously powerful move at this point in the game. 21 defense. Oh no. Both of our really tanky Pokemon are currently down. Well, not down, but like, you know, injured. We're gonna heal and hope for the best. I wish I could switch out instead, but I don't really think that's a good option. Could change it. Okay, well, I mean, <sighs> Clipso has enough health that if she took a hit, she'd probably be fine. But I'm not loving this at all. Not at one bit. I, I, I need him to miss, is what I need him to do. Or her to do. Fine. I, 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 the amount of health it has left, Water Gun should still be able to kill it. She has enough tank, she should be able to take at least one hit. Oh, please. Oh, pretty please. Why do you not miss? I don't like you at all. We're going to heal, because I'm pretty sure we're not faster than it is. <laughs> Good. Now, please... Whatever you're going to do, please miss. Or use Rage. That works fine, too. Okay, what does Refresh do again? I don't know. Find out later. Water Gun for now. We are faster. Oh, well, things I learned in hindsight. Goodbye, horrifying dragon. I hope to never see you again until I'm able to fight you more more, more evenly. Level 5 for overhate. Good for you. Level 11 for Hive Queen. Still growing stronger and stronger, which I'm totally fine with now because I realize now having a gym illegal Pokemon that can beat the crap out of whatever I run into is actually kind of a good thing. Like, not being able to use Hive Queen in gym battles is a problem, but having her around to beat the snot out of Salamences would be pretty good. <laughs> Not that uh, she's a great match for Salmon's overall. But once she learns Power Gem, though, she's a better match anyway. Okay, gonna limp back to the center and heal up again because that was scary. I love Salamence, except when I'm fighting them. You know, just, just just how it goes usually. It's the downside to having the overhead up front for training purposes. The, the ha Having to switch out is not really in our favor. But the next guy can't have another Pokemon that strong in his party, right? <laughs> right? Guys? <laughs> you totally could. That's the thing about randomizers. You have no idea. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and sell the blue shark. Well, it's not worth that much anyway. Smoke ball, that'll sell. I don't really care about that at all. Anything to get a little bit more cash to help fund our potion brigade. Another one of those, please. Thank you. I didn't buy that, did I? No, I did not. What am I doing? Buy the thing, then leave. Thank you, articulate man. Monster match. Bad at shopping, apparently. Okay, give us another go, shall we? Scary dragon lady, stay there. I'm gonna fight you this time. Well, I'll beat you with the magic heart my dad just gave me. Let's see what magic heart got turned into then, I guess. If it's another Salamence, just, okay. 
Rich Boy Cristiano. Bigger Ross. Almost as bad. Not quite, but uh, still scary. Switching out to Gloria. Yes, that's probably for the best. No pursuit, no shadow tag. Good news for me. Now, at least the one thing about going for us here is I don't think Vigoroff has any any business having headbutt. So we should be fine. That's kind of alarming in its own way, though. It might not have vital spirit, though, for its ability, so I could probably put it to sleep. Let's put, put it to, yeah, sleep. No, I wanted to put it to the right, actually, their controller. Thank you for recognizing that I pushed buttons. All right, got the crit off the bat. We could just bite him at this point. It's probably not worth actually taking the time to put him to sleep. Not the heal, though. This keeps up. We don't have to, but I'm a bit skittish now. I I, I got Salamence to recently, and I'm still like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a wee bit nervous. Encore. So you want me to bite you more is what you're saying. Okay. Uproar, which is a special move now, because the physical special split has occurred. Which worked out pretty well for him, actually, because Gloria's special defense is not as high as her physical. Alright, 108. A little 6 for overhate. Should be learning Ember relatively soon. Not just yet, though, I don't think. Level 7? Wow. Double level. There's that Ember. Marvelous. So overhate can now fight, you know, some things by himself now. Wouldn't trust him against a Vigoroth, but... Well, they're Pokemon I got from my dad. No, my dad. Okay. So, I'm the trainer up there by the looks of it. Wouldn't mind fighting another one. The watch out for my team is all. We are a little bit roughed up on Gloria, but... Just walk through here. Two more of you. Wait, are you, are, are you a trainer? There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. The Pokemon's hidden move will be enough. We'll be able to smash through it, though. Ah, oh, Rock Smash. Okay, fair enough. This is Ravaged Path. That's kind of a cool name. Another catch in there, most likely. May I please tell you for a battle? We'll fight her first, because, you know, why not? It's in order. Have a grass type up front, perhaps, there, Jill? Lazy Jill? Plusle. I think Eriko had some problems with one of you. I, should be, I shouldn't be totally, totally off my guard. You are an electric type, so Gloria would be the best bet there. Whatever you do to me, I'm going to just assume that she can have this covered. She's a ground type. No ground type moves as of yet, but she's at least immune to any any thunder shocks you might aim my way. Right, attack down. Not loving that. Not loving that either, really. All right, nothing too too scary so far. I'm mean, maybe over cautious about this thing, but. Yeah, we're fine, I think. Cool. Alright, so our attack has been lowered, but it's asleep. And it's blind to boot. Yeah, we're fine. We're just fine. See, why couldn't the Salamence fight have been this painless? Ugh, scary bloody dragon. Level 8 for Overhate. Level 9 for Gloria. Ground move, perhaps? No such luck. Alright, it's fine. We'll get there. Oh, you're so strong! Which reminds me, we have Energy Ball and possibly a Charmander that might learn it, which would be quite the exciting combination, really. By chance, good sir, might she be willing to wreck some face? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, that's some filthy disgusting going on there. I'm going to save that for just this moment until he gets a little bit stronger, a little bit higher up the food chain. But that, that's disgusting and I love it. I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach a, a, Char, a Charizard energy ball. Mmm, delicious. I love it. I enjoy this a little bit too much. You know what? I, I, I didn't think I would like randomizers. I was like, oh, you know, it's so unpredictable. It's, it's so inconsistent. Now I'm just like, yes, the, 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 the cheap stuff I can get away with in this now is fantastic. Oh, yes. Okay, so we have no potions left. Must be careful. However, Chesto Berry, which I believe cures sleep. And one more catch. Right on cue at that. 
Gonna get us a Frostlass. Oh, that's so cool. A ghost ice type? I'm down with that. Sleep, please, because you scare me. You're an ice type. I'm a ground type. I don't like it. Okay. Gonna be very careful here. I can't use bite on it. I might kill it immediately. It is, it is, a, it is a ghost type. We can, however, switch to Calypso or Hive Queen. Which of you has the higher special attack at this point? 25. 22. We'll switch to you and use Gust then. I think Gust is less powerful than Water Gut now, but even actually. I'll go with you though. Hive Queen's the, the, the best option here, I think. An ice type. That's just cool. Because I could do like ice types, and her being part ghost means she's immune to those pesky fighting types, which is very, very nice. I don't really want to gust it, though. It seems a little bit too... too much, maybe. On the off chance it's weak enough for this, give it a shot. Unlikely, but it is, it, it is sleeping and level 4, so... No, okay, didn't think so. Wasn't going to quite get away with that. Well, Ghost resists poison, as far as I recall. I don't think it resists bug, though. No, it does. Okay, cool. Woke up. Use the again. I'm a little bit nervous about that. Okay. Astonish, good call for you. You're ignoring my, my, my defense. Ghost is, well, Ghost was physical, but Astonish is still physical, so that's the important thing. Let's, I don't have any, actually, I, I, I don't have any antidotes on me. I really can't afford to use Poison Sting. We're going to do the reset. We're going to go back to Gloria. We're going to put it back to sleep again and train back around to High Queen to keep using Fury Cutter. Because Poison Sting would kill it. And by, by that I mean, like, I would catch it and then it would die. <laughs> So I have no antidotes on me, and no berries either that will help in this particular instance. Like I said before, with, 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 with Charmander, I am approaching this with, like, every bit of... Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Every bit of caution I can muster. That said, a lot of my team is weak to ice now, think about it. Not everybody, but a lot of them. Well, like three of them, right this moment. Alright, back to Hive Queen for some more Fury Cutting. We can land it at this point. I feel like we, we, we could maybe have gotten away with Gust back when we first started, but now definitely not. Alright, let's try for the Poison Sting. We don't really have time to let... Because uh, cause it's got better accuracy than, than Fruit Cutter does. Still not a good chance. It is sleeping now, but it's also still somehow dodging us. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. That's not encouraging at all. This is gonna be a problem, I think. We got one off, that's good. Yellow and sleeping might have to do it. It's gonna wake up shortly and I don't think I trust myself to put it back to sleep again, so let's go ahead and just try this. Pretty please. Two again. Come on now. That's not gonna tickle. We are a flying type. Well, it didn't do that much actually. I think what's saving us right now is the level gap. I'm going to try to put it back put it back to sleep again. Good, good, good. Hmm. Use sand attack just to lower its accuracy, but I don't think it really matters at this point. Um, back to High Queen, same, same old, same old. We don't really have a better option at this point, I don't think. Astonish. Yeah, fine, that works for you. You go to sleep. I'll pull out my Fury Cutter, and we go around this dance some more. Problem is, that double team you pulled off on me is really, really not helping my life any right now. 
Come on. One more. Just hit him. Just, just hit her one more time. No. Uh, okay. Like, I, I feel pretty confident we can do this. It's just a matter of, of if we can manage to do it before we run out of Pokeballs. Or we need a potion. We don't have any on us at the, at the moment. Okay, that's about as far as I wanted to push that. Maybe get off one more poison sting, but I'm not really keen on trying it without putting her sleep first anyway. Because as mentioned, no antidotes. If she gets poisoned, she is dead, period. So I don't think this is one of the generations that lets them live at one HP, because it's just... Well, actually, you know what? No! She will go to the Pokemon Center. We have six Pokemon on us. What am I talking about? So if this doesn't work, we can always go back to Poison Sting if, 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 if we have to. Didn't think of that. Not that we're lucky to hit her at this point anyway. Double team is some pretty serious business at this point. Back to Hive Queen. Pulling double duty all over this thing. Tag teaming left, right, and center. It's all good, though. Maybe less good. Double team is uh, a, a beast of a move when it's been used that many times. But she is asleep. I maintain that like moves like like uh, double team should, should really be less effective when when they're out, you know, when they're unconscious. But okay, red health, sleeping. What more could you possibly ask for, game? Get in the dang ball, please. And a one, and a two, and a three. And are you serious? Could you not, though? Really? Really? Wow, she's vicious. And we're frozen to boot. Mm, let it go. Let it go. You froze me. Okay. At this point, I'm torn between naming her Reese Cake, because Reese asked for a Pokemon named after her, or Elsa. More double team. Are you serious? Oh my god. <sighs> I do like that Yon seems to have perfect accuracy, though. That that much is pretty cool. You've gone full double team. You've gone full horse crap. Full horse apple. Fine. Have sand. Or don't have sand, as the case may be. You're all doubled out. You don't double anymore. You, you're, you're, you're done multiplying in this town today. No more sand? Okay, I tried. It's fine. <sighs> maybe she wants a premiere ball. Maybe maybe the, the, the maybe the lady wants to be fancy. Pure as the driven snow and white to boot. And a one. And a two. And a three. And me think the lady doth not protest any further. Okay. An ice ghost type to round out the team. I I, I dig that. That's cool. Okay. For us last, the Snowland Pokemon. It freezes prey by blowing its negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit breath. It is said to then, then secretly display its prey. That's kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna name her. I'm gonna name her. I, I, I'm still tempted to call her Elsa because of the obvious Frozen reference, but Reese did ask her Pokemon that, that uh, would be cool for a name for her, so I'll go and call her Reese. I like Reese. Reese is because you know Reese. Reese, Reese is definitely a, a cool person, and I don't think she got a Pokemon last last go around, so she's she's been overdue for one. So let's get our our, our keysters back to Jubilife. We have some uh, reviewing to do, and I need to stop dying. Also, I'm just gonna tip through this grass. Please don't fight anything. I'm not, I'm really not really physically able. Well, I, I, it's not true. I I, I do have plenty of Pokemon left, but with no potions, I I I'm a nervous Nelly. So, enough for one more potion. You know what? One more is better than none. Now let's go see what we got. Because unless her nature and ability are complete garbage, I am going to use that for us, lass. I want it. First we heal, though. <laughs> So we got a full full party before we even hit the first gym. Not bad. Okay. So gonna switch out our far-fetched friend for Miss Frostlass. Although if her nature is even half as good as this guy's adamant, we'll be in good shape. 
All right, we got ourselves Gentle Snow Cloak. Isn't that what she actually normally has? That's fine, I guess. Powder Snow, Leer, Double Team, Astonish, as we know. Her special attack is the higher... Oh, no, actually tie with her uh, physical. Defense, not so good, but she is immune to normal and fighting moves. So really, the only, only, only thing she, she uh, particularly needs to watch out for is physical fire moves and uh, rock moves. Not too bad. Ghost is actually a really good type for, 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 for Ice, considering how many things Ice is weak to. Oh, dark, dark moves as well. Alright, so that's not too shabby at all. She is welcome on the team. Alright, so I believe our next stop is heading off towards Orberg, off to the right-hand side of the city. We're going to be able to fight this way and that way, so all we have left to do is go this way. Um, we should reorganize our team, I guess. If I'm doing training, then uh, Reese should be up front. Um, Overhate as well. Yeah, team should go something like this, I guess. That looks about right. Not loving the level discrepancy between Reese and the rest of the team, but we'll fix it in a moment or two. Cool. And there's oh, there's more there's more grass out here too. I'm I'm, I'm gonna need some more money some more money to buy Pokeballs first though. Yeah. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, oh, hey, Scarf. Tell me you got a little bit tougher, please. Me? You mean to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate it to you. No, oh, not right now. I'm in the middle of something. Elite Four Waldo with his two Pokemon. Wow, okay. Grimer. Interesting. All right. Wouldn't mind a Steel type right about now to make sure it was proof to that, but Glory will do just fine, too. Again, just glad he hasn't found anything that has, has uh... Arena trap yet, or or shadow tag, poison gas, and me with and me with no antidotes. You know what? He's got he 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 he's a, he's a genius. He has my my exact weakness. <laughs> he has access to poison. That's all he had to do to to to, to put me on notice. Yeah, we're we're poisoned. I get it. Chew on him. We're gonna have to preserve as much of Gloria's health as possible, because if we don't, we're gonna have to be forced to use our potion just to get back to the Pokemon Center to, to save her life. So, hmm, I know Grimer's defenses are nothing to sneeze at. Mux is better though, of course. But um, Hive Queen, not a bad choice here, since we're definitely not using her against the Charizard. Go straight for the, um, Gust. See if her special attack is as high as I hope it is. Not bad, actually. Not loving that little tidbit, though. Did you have to? Every single time. <sighs> it makes sense. It's a good move, but just... <clears throat> jerk. Okay, fine. Mm. 45, 45, 45. Not a whole lot of experience going around. Okay. Charizard is up next. We knew that. He does, of course, have Filter, which is not so good. But Calypso is still a pretty good shot for beating him, unless he's picked up Dragon Rage, in which case our entire run is dead, because I can't fight that. Barring that, we should be fine. Or at least, you know, decent. That's annoying, but doable. Never mind, just annoying. But seriously, um, the moment his Charizard learns Dragon Rage, our whole team is just like, well, <coughs> good night, folks. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, critical hit. Thank you. Thank you. My Pokemon's getting low on HP. Things, things get tight here. I love that he's not even attacking us. He, 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 he must have Scratch and Ember still. Which, again, fine with me. Okay, good. Our starter is still the superior option. And all is well. Although I'm imagining right now, if we had taken Charizard, he probably would have had the Combi. Which would be a rather funny fight right about now. A little bit, bit anticlimactic, really. But this is better. Him, him having a Charizard is better. 
What well, just happened? I I lost. Wow. Wow. What, what, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. It's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm the world's toughest trainer. You know it. First thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna tough it up for that. Totally. I'm gonna limp back to the Pokemon Center before I die of poisoning you, jerk. Ugh. Two Pokemon poison. You're kidding me, though. Stupid grammar. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We made it back. We're in one piece. Nobody died. I am, however, in some serious, seriously dire straits as far as catching Pokemon go. I have one Pokeball on me and no money and no trainers to fight. But barring him, of course. His little little encounter there might have given us the means to get ourselves uh, something to catch with, though. So let's have a look-see. We're definitely in some dire straits. No, we're good. We're good. He gave us some more cash. Four more Pokeballs. Not a lot, but enough for those. And an antidote, because we've learned our lesson. Cool. That'll work. Okay. So because I'm curious about what's in this grass, we're going to go poke our heads in and see what's going on. And then we will end, 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 end the episode off here, you guys, because I don't want to go all day long and you know all, all year, all night, all day. And it's been going kind of long as it is. So thank you so much for watching, by the way. Hope you've all been having a fantastic time. I've certainly had a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this series so far. And honestly, our, 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 I thought our luck was good last run, but so far this run, it's hilariously good. Okay, so we got a bunch of, a bunch of trainers here to fight. I will save them, I think, until next time. I'm just going to kind of get into the grass right now and see what our catch is going to be. Anything cool up here? Another item there. Hmm. Could fish, could 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 catch. I mean, fishing just gets us, what, Magikarp, right? But for every route, it's different, I think. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm tempted to fish rather than catch, but I don't think it really matters. It's random either way. You can't tell. And you know what? Actually, I may be able to just a little bit. We have Pokedex power. I almost forgot about that one. Heracross could be a good Pokemon. We already have a bug, in all fairness. I saw one. Oh, wow, he's everywhere. Is it... Is, is the glowing, like, normal or fishing? I think, I think that's normal, right? Yeah, I'm going to try to read, how to read that exactly. Miss Magius. Um, things we could have had, you know? Let's see. Hippowdon. We, we, we know where to get Hippowdon from. Why don't you show me the one route way over there? Oh, nighttime, of course. Why is it still only showing me over there? I'm confused. I I wasn't there when I got it, though. I don't understand this Pokedex. It's weird. I don't like it. Can we get my lock somewhere else? No! We win then! <laughs> well, at night anyway. How about how about how about during during the day? Nope. So we, we picked the Pokemon then, you guys, because we can't get them like, anywhere else, apparently. All right, so you know what? Whatever, let's just do this. I don't know what it's going to be, but that's normal. I was hoping for some kind of inkling that it might be a Bagon or something else, but whatever. Hey, it's Julian! And Peanut, our, 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 our returning Dawn fan. Apparently, we must have a Dawn fan in, in every single run we do lately. We, so we, 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 we first caught Peanut. In our uh, Crystal Nuzlocke, we caught Julian in our, um, what was it? <sighs> Shoot. Our, um, was it the Emerald Nuzlocke? I, I, I think it was Emerald, no. Yeah, it was Emerald, wasn't it? Or was it, oh my god, is my memory that bad? But the point is, no, 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 it was during, during the, the Leafing Randomizer, sorry. Yeah, Randomizer. Ugh. <sighs> I'm losing my mind, you guys. I'm, 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 I'm losing it, and I'm losing it. Anyway, we caught Peanut during the Crystal Nuzlocke. We caught Julian during the Leafkin Randomizer. We've had a Fan P or, or Dawn Fan in two out of our five total runs so far, which is a pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent statistic considering how 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 rare they tend to be. Don't think he's in any particular harm, in, in, in any particular danger of replacing Gloria. She's pretty cool so far. He's got the yawn. This is just handy, but. Depending on what his ability is, you never know. It's not uh, Matt. It's it, it's it's uh, not Wonder Guard because we're because we're hitting with Bite. But anything that, anything that has Wonder Guard is is an immediate contender. You know what I mean? No matter what it is, unless it's really really bad, if it has Wonder Guard, I will consider it. But either way, we'll throw him in a ball. See what we get. It, it takes him off. It takes him off off the future catch tables if nothing else.
Nice. Okay. Don Van was caught. Good old rotary de uh, de death ball. Don Fan, the armored Pokemon. It ro attacks by curling up, then rolling into its foe. It can blow apart a house in one hit. House destroyer. And we shall call you... D does Persistent fit? Because that would be a good name for it, considering how often we bump into this thing. Persistence. Oh, it actually does, too. Persistent. There you go. I mean, that's what it is. Plain and simple. Alright, so we're going to leave this off right here, you guys. We'll fight these trainers. We'll press on further. We'll, uh, next time around, I'm going to get some training done for uh, Overhate. Actually, Overhate's pretty much caught up anyway. For for uh, Reese, if nothing else. Reese has some leveling to do. Overhate could do it with, with, with a couple levels, I guess. Maybe one or two. So I'll see you guys in the next one to fight these trainers. I'm going to do some training in the grass here. And I'll see all of you for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for our appreciation segment of our video. And uh, have yourself an excellent day. For now, bye-bye. Uh, Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to the appreciation segment of our video. On the first episode of our series, Building the Foundations of Our Team, number one, we got 16 likes, 79 views, and 52 comments, which is a lot, holy crap, you guys. Coming from Eric for President, Chaos Retro Gaming 3, Air Slayer, Poly to uh, I, I, I always try and read his name, Polly Tobey, but I think I'm just calling him Toby, so Polly Toby. Uh, Mr. Neck Punch, R. Vidal, the magical one, Reescake, Paragon X9, A. Electric, Bull Gamer, Chisharper, Many Hours, Erico, one of our collaborators, Landon Summers, J. Scotchguard, Bull Gamer, uh, several times more actually, Demand, wow, dude, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> the excitement is real from Bulb Gamer, hey, dude. Uh, Easton, Hannon Adventures, and the Egyptian Gamer Ge uh, Geek. Thanks so much for dropping by, everyone here. Appreciate you guys uh, having a little chats with me. Awesome having conversations with all of you. So, again, thanks you. Thanks, thanks you. Oh, my goodness, my English skills today. Huh, thank, just, uh, hmm. Thanks to all of you for your continued support for the channel. It means a lot to me, you guys. Thank you so much for just, you know, dropping on by. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed what you saw. I have a lot of fun making these episodes, and I'm glad you guys seem to enjoy watching them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So for, for, for now, be sure to do something nice for yourselves, because you're worth it. Stay monstrous, and I'll see you in the next one. For now, I'm Monster Matt out. Bye-bye! Uh,